What's going on guys, this is Bunny Muffins. The TFT development team just released a new video on what their roadmap is for the next year. So I'm gonna give you my thoughts on what they have planned and uh, let's see what they have in store. Hey everyone, I'm TJ, the lead producer on Team Fight Tactics and longtime mech player. I'm here to talk about what's coming in the next for mobile, an update on Little Legends, and some hints as to what the next set's theme will be. We've been blown away by how much you've all been playing Galaxies and its mid-set update. And the positive response has been beyond our expectations. You know, I'm actually curious to think um, what sort of data there is on the player base based on different sets. So like which set has been the most popular, which one has been the least popular, which set allowed, um, not allowed, but which set had more people play the next set. Um, all things I'm very interested in knowing. Also like demographics for the TFT player base. That's something I'm super interested in. So if anyone does have info on that, please let me know down in the comments. We think the new set games is working well. We'll release a major set every six months with a mid-set update in between. You can expect the next set to look similar, lasting until April with a mid-set update in January that'll bring new pass, a ranked reset, and a rotation of new champions and traits. And after all that, we'll be kicking off a brand new set once again. So I do like that there's new structure of like having a major set and then like a mid-set update. It makes it so you don't have to relearn the game every three months and uh, you can you don't have to spend like a whole week or something and keep in mind i play tft a lot it takes me a whole week to get used to all the new champions probably more than that maybe two weeks of playing every day um to get used to all the new champions all the new item changes all the new maps so i'm glad that they stretch out this period to like six months but they still keep it fresh with the mid set update um just so you're not like playing the same thing over and over personally like i come from a chess background i also played league of legends for like five years or something like that. Um, so I'm I'm no stranger to playing the same game over and over. Like chess hasn't changed in like so long. Um, I don't even know what the last rule change for chess was to be honest with you, but we have people playing that constantly. So I think like video games obviously are in a place where they can do a lot more adjustments than games like chess or like a board game in general. Once you release a board game, that's pretty much it. You can't really change the rules unless you have it for like a international competition and some like committee changes the rules but in video games i like that the one advantage they have is being able to change a game constantly and um, i guess you kind of have to do it to keep up with everyone else speaking of the next set in september we're taking pangu and his friends on a journey to distant lands where the strength of their spirits will blossom and their devotion to the gods will be tested they will run into is some Yasuo familiar in friends every set? in the past and encounter I think new he enemies. He might be only the, one of the kingdoms. few champions that have all in hopes to revel under the blood moon with the friends that they have chosen along the way. They seem to like Janna a lot as well. In addition to new sets, we're also working on other ways for you to engage with TFT. We're still exploring spectator mode as a way to improve the TFT viewing experience. And we know yeah, how spectator mode's this nice. Will like, be, there's a lot of times I just want to watch my friends like play, but we can only TFT do it over a like a play. chat app. And we wanted to deliver that to you this year. However, we had to focus on some other areas of the oh, game first. This year. Like keeping up with the new set cadence, as well as the mobile release. We don't have the timing down just yet. I wonder what their set cadence was beforehand, uh, or what they planned to do when they initially made the game. I've heard many different theories. Some people said that, like, oh, TFT was just a quick side project that they scrapped up together. I've heard that, like, oh, they put a lot of development work in it, and that, like, the team's pretty... Uh, robust, but I, I'm not really too sure. I don't have insight into that. But we're now clearing out space for this work to begin. Because I, I don't know if they expected TFT to be this big or or not. Because TFT is, it's not like a Fortnite or anything, obviously, but it is still like one of the more popular games out in existence right now. And the game space is so competitive. They're like probably five to six major games and like TFT might be among like, I, I'm talking about for PC. Um, but TFT might be within like the top 10, at least top 20. We'll keep you updated as we progress. In addition to these features, we're also working on new TFT modes. We want TFT to be a place where there are multiple ways to enjoy TFT. That's a good change. Modes that better fit your schedule, whether you're playing on mobile or PC, and however you're feeling this week. So are they going to do like some sort of accelerated game mode, or is it going to be something like uh, a 2v2v2 maybe? Me and my friend have been wanting to do that for a while, because like, he takes it a little more like casually than I do, and like 
he's at master zero LP, so he doesn't really have any incentive to play. He doesn't want to get to grandmaster because it's too far away. He doesn't want to drop out of master, so he doesn't really have that much of an incentive to play. Normal games are a little too boring for him. He actually leveled up a new smurf to get to masters again, which he did, but now he's stuck in the same spot again. So it's like maybe introducing a new game mode may be something pretty interesting, but they hinted that it's going to be something to fit your schedule, so maybe it's some sort of accelerated game mode. Um, instead of like a new format like 2v2v2. We're hoping to bring in at least one TFT mode to you early next year. Okay, nice, next year. So that's like five months from now, maybe. Speaking of mobile, we're putting a lot of effort towards making the TFT experience on mobile devices better. This means performance improvements Out of curiosity, how many of you guys play on mobile? Uh, just let me know down in the comments. Like, I personally play on t uh, PC. I probably played experience. like maybe five mobile games Equal. tops. That of PC. Because um, whenever I'm in bed playing on my phone, I'm like, let me just chat. get up and go to my desk to play. We want to work. <laughs> you can expect to see a lot of these updates between now and early next year. We've heard your feedback that it simply isn't worth it to buy dozens of little legend eggs just to get the three-star little legend that you want. So we developed a system that'll make it easier to star up your favorite little legend. I personally don't really use star or haven't spent any money star on Star shards legends, are a new TFT currency that can be purchased directly or collected through the Pass Plus. You can use star shards to star up your favorite little legends. And yep, that means you can now get the long-awaited for three-star astronaut mole diver and star guardian. That makes it a lot easier, though. I do have to We're wonder how that, how the they think it'll impact their revenues. I'm assuming directly. that with like a random, some of the upcoming little legend uh, releases, the random eggs where you have to get three of the same one to get them to three star, it probably makes a lot of money for certain they can whales. Then be upgraded with the star um, whales like a person who spends a ton on the game that makes up for like a lot of the free-to-play players, but. I'm really curious to see how that impacts the bottom line. Um, something I'm pretty games, interested in. Tones and shapes and sizes for your little legends. Okay, changing shapes and sizes. You know what I think would be cool? Maybe like adding like hats for your little legend, and maybe like like shirt, hat, and shoes uh, would be pretty fun. Because then you could like keep the same costumes, move it on different different uh, little legends, and pretty much have a blast with that. I'm sure they'd like make more money on that too, because then they could sell another like um, asset. Uh, instead of like having to create new little legends just to sell one thing whereas they could sell like maybe three things that could be reused and people can maybe keep their favorites or something like that but they still want the new little legends after that on what little legends can be and right now we're working on shaking up what little legends are finally <laughs> oh, we're looking man. into new ways my favorite one's a dango <laughs> what are your guys's favorites right now we're testing future arena skins that react to the state of your game whether you're win streaking or three starring a champion, we want to find ways for your boards to celebrate your feats or defeats with you. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Set, Have like a big like show up to play TFT rumble or like hypey thing whenever you get like a, a three star. It's or like when you win something good happens. Release, and just yeah, this one's my favorite here. How far here. we've come makes me so proud of our team and so thankful for your support. We're working to make every aspect of the TFT experience as enjoyable as it can be. So whether you're coming in first or just top eight, I'll see you out there in the convergence. Okay, um, pretty pretty interesting stuff coming. Mainly it's the spectator mode. That's what I'm most looking forward to. But that one, they it doesn't seem like it's coming for a while. It seems to be like one of the lower priorities. But from like a competitive standpoint, and um, I do like plan on hosting like a tournament eventually. Um, that's something I definitely want to have immediately, but I get it. They have other things to do. They want to make the game more fun, probably get more people playing the game, um, get the game bigger in general. Um, I wish it wasn't so much of a sidekick to League of Legends because I have heard a rumor that like they only made TFT to try to get people back into League of Legends, and they apparently succeeded in that. I, I don't know how true that rumor is, but that's what I've heard from from various people. In their infographic, they talk about the World Championship cycle, so... Again, the World Championship is next month, September 3rd through 4th. I hope that they change this so that the competitive scene isn't so focused on one or two days. Because TFT, it's a game that, it's like any game revolving around luck and and uh, like similar to card games like poker, for example. There, You need a big sample size to figure out who the best player is. So I'm thinking like some sort of weekly league or like weekly tournament might be the best way to dis determine who the best players are for the World Championships. I hope they introduce something like that um in the future I, I will be talking more on like tournament formats and there are a lot of issues and difficulties with tft tournaments um such as like players giving up after they lose the first two games for example or um 
you want the person who wins the last game to be the winner. There's a lot of different issues that haven't been really figured out yet, but we'll see how this world championship works out. Again, since like you could get knocked out in one day after like five games of TFT. We've all had bad days. We've all had days where we went like seven, six, seventh, eighth or something like that. Um, we've also had days where we go like first, 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 second, first, but it's kind of erratic, right? And when the best players are playing against each other, the skill gap isn't that big. So it's kind of kind of just like a dice roll on who wins. But obviously the best player probably has like a slightly favored dice roll, but I don't think that out of eight people, um, they're not going to have a win rate higher than like maybe 20% tops. Uh, so there there should be a way around that, but I do, I'm just not sure on the best way to approach it yet. Um, set for launch in September 2020, I'm assuming after the World Championship. Uh, Mid-set update early 2021. Uh, we also have the set for world, world Championship in the spring, followed by the set five launch. So there's a lot of a lot of stuff coming. Obviously, the spectator mode. I, when I saw this infographic at first, I thought like it was coming right away, but like it's gonna it's gonna be a while until that. The new mode I'm really curious about as well because is it a fast mode or like an accelerated mode or is it like a new mode like a 2v2 or like a 4v4 i i'm i'm not really too sure but improved arenas that's a nice aesthetic thing uh, i didn't really think about that or like see that as something that could be added but now that i hear about it 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 does make sense it's like a nice little like uh, makes the user experience a tiny bit better because you get more like responsiveness in the board um, tournament API, I'm not really too sure what that means. They didn't really go into it that much, but hopefully it sets a scene for um, to get like a better competitive environment. Since I do think that that's something that uh, Riot Games is behind in. So hopefully in the future sets, we get something more to tackle all these issues. And I'm going to be talking a lot more about tournament issues, um, not like issues but how to tackle them and like because you you can criticize all you want but if you don't give a suggestion on how to improve it then like your criticisms don't really mean anything if you don't have a better way to do it but um, I'm gonna have a guest on on my next episode of team up and hopefully we'll be talking more about that and I also do again plan to host one of my own tournaments later in the future and uh, hopefully the format that I come up with will be able to tackle all the issues that I see so far yeah, that's it from me, guys. Um, let me know what you guys think about this roadmap, and I will see you guys next time. Hey, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to share and subscribe. And of course, smash that like button. Each like is an LP I gained before the next video.